Hey there guys, this week we're gonna be talking about a new piece of software called ShareMouse, and I'm gonna share all my thoughts about it, tell you guys the features of it, and you guys can see if you would like it. Now this video is not sponsored, although I will have a code down in the description below that you can use that will give you a discount on it. I worked that out with the company when I was getting my review sample, but you guys can check that out to get a discount if you do decide that you want this after watching this review. Now, disclaimer, I'm going to mention some things about Synergy 2 in this review, and I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. I have not actually used Synergy 2 once, so some of my comparisons are going to be between Synergy 1 and this software, since that's the software that I'm currently using. And then I'm also going to talk about some things with Synergy 2, some of the features, but not necessarily functionality, just because I haven't actually utilized Synergy 2. I might do it in the future, but as of right now, um, none of the features of Synergy 2 have really compelled me to buy it or try it, so yeah, we'll see where that goes. So first off, I'd like to just kind of read you guys the list of features from ShareMouse. The first feature is that you don't really have to configure anything, which is sometimes true. If you're on a fairly normal network, you actually don't need to configure anything, although I did find out that if you're on kind of an obscure network setup such as mine, you have to do manual configuration, but overall the manual configuration isn't that bad. The software has tools that allow you to automatically find open ports on the network and to reveal your IP so that you can just kind of hit find the open ports and then align the ports and plug in the IP and it just kind of works. And it also shares your license if you buy the paid for version of it because it also has a free version that's very limited, but most likely you're gonna get either the standard or pro version and it'll share that license across to the computers and will let you kind of work that way without having to add the license to each computer individually. It also has a lot of the same features of some of the other software in this category. It offers copy and paste and it offers file sharing in between so you can drag and drop files. It also offers lock screen synchronization, along with like log off, shut down, all that stuff in between your computers. It will sync all that together. One of the things that I really like about the ShareMouse software is that it doesn't have a master-slave setup. You actually just run the client on both computers and then it just works. It communicates between the two and you don't have to have the server program running on your computer with the keyboard and mouse and the other things set up like you can use whatever you want like if you have a laptop you can use the mouse across or just whatever you want depending and you just kind of ditch that master slave setup which is kind of a pain if you've ever used Synergy or other programs like it. This software also has a monitor manager which works very similarly to many other softwares in this category where you just kind of organize your monitors in the layout you want so that the mouse can move between them and you do that with all the computers. So it works out really well and I like how they've implemented it, but it's not really anything super fantastic. It's just kind of, it works, but that's kind of the whole like gist of this software, I think. And from what I can tell is that they just want to make something that works because some of the other pieces of software out there, they just don't work and they try and do flashy graphics and other things that are just kind of a waste of time when their software isn't actually that great. This software also runs directly across your network, so you don't have to have an internet connection, you don't have to connect to any servers or anything, it just runs all across there, it doesn't transmit an IP across the network either. They use AES encryption to encrypt all the data that's going back and forth, and you can also put a password on your client so that only clients with the same password can connect, which is nice if you're on a large enterprise network like me, and there could be multiple clients out there, and if somebody like gets my IP, they can punch it in and control my computer, drag files from it, which could be dangerous, so I can set that password there, and I also have the safety of that secure encryption. Overall, this software is, I would say, fairly good. It's generally on par with most of the other softwares in this category, but what it really has going for it is simplicity. And again, Synergy 2 might be better, but I haven't tested it. So far, this has been the simplest software KVM switch that I've used. Super easy to set up, even if you're on a obscure network like mine, the manual setup part of it is really easy and it just kind of works. Now there is some latency, most of these softwares have latency. Some of them brag that they're lag free, but that's never gonna be true. You're always gonna have some form of latency traveling over the network. And this one, it seems to be a little bit worse than like Synergy 1. Synergy 1 has very good latency, but it's not, bad by any means. It's still definitely usable. You wouldn't want to game on it, but you also wouldn't want to game on Synergy. So yeah, 
But then again, your mileage will vary because this software is running on a rather obscure network and the network that I'm on hasn't always been the most reliable. That will definitely affect my lag time. So it just kind of depends on your network what that lag will be. If you have a crazy good network, you'll probably see zero latency on it. So that's not necessarily a bottleneck that the software is introducing. It's definitely a bottleneck that your network introduces, but the software seems to handle that bottleneck very well. So in conclusion, this is a great contender in the software interface switch market. It has all the features that people will use in a nice clean package, although it would be a lot more competitive if it were about $10 cheaper. Synergy 2 sells for around $40, whereas this software sells for around $50. So seeing that Synergy 2 is kind of their main competitor, I think if they were $10 cheaper, it would be a lot better of a deal. If you need an easy to use software interface switch, this one might be the one for you. And I would definitely suggest trying it out at least since there is a free version, you can kind of get a taste of it to see if you actually want to buy it. And none of the other ones are really offering that. Most of them are paid and they won't really give you a trial. So definitely check it out and see if it's for you. If it is for you, there is a discount code down in the description below. I don't make any profits off of that. This is purely a review and I don't make any money off of my reviews. Share Mouse has definitely worked its way into my everyday life, sharing my mouse between my laptop and my desktop. And it's kind of replaced Synergy just because Synergy requires some setup. I gotta get things connected and running, whereas Share Mouse just kind of starts and then it just kind of works. So it has some weaknesses, but overall the plus sides of the absolute simplicity of it have been a lot better than any of their competitors.